And my next guest says numbers don't lie, but people do. And she should know because she is known as the numbers lady. We sent her to Planet Dailies at the original farmer's market in Los Angeles. Take a look. I am here at the Grove and I'm so excited. It is Friday night. I'm gonna go to Planet Dailies. I'm gonna look for a group of women who are looking for love. There is no such thing as a stranger when I've got their number. Hi, ladies. Hi. I'm Glennis McCants and I'm the numbers lady. My whole belief is that when I have your numbers, you're not a stranger and we'll help you find better love. Let's look at you real quick with your relationship. Here's what I see. He's a one life path. They're about themselves. Okay, and what about the baby? I mean, kids, because you got a six, which is the mother energy. So tell me about that. I want him. He doesn't. No. Oh, oh, that's, that that's a home. Give me your hand and listen that's to me. That's a home. Right there, you though. You are going to have a baby. No, listen to me. You know what you are? You are fiercely loyal and you don't like to abandon people. But you have your own calling. You are a mother through and through. Glennis hit home on my relationship status today. It's definitely a long term relationship that I'd love to start a family with. It's going to happen. That's what she said. I'm happy that I got to hear her words. Definitely. And your name? I'm Lydia. Relationship? Yeah. He's got a five attitude, which means he also likes to have fun. Like that never go moment. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. He's yeah. a celebrative life. Like that's what oh, you guys gosh. have in common. Yeah. So if you can like go on trips together or go on adventures or if we're going out, wow. you're both stoked. Yeah. That, that's what the relationship's about. The thing that really hit home to me tonight was that me and my boyfriend is traveling that we really belong together. Every year we like to go to Central America, we like to go to Belize. I think Glennis is absolutely spot on. Let's see what happened when Glennis talked to the same group. Sandy, the first thing I would tell you the name itself, Sandy, has double one, which means there's a voice inside you that says no matter how good, not good enough. You, you're very self-critical. Your son was way too sensitive. He, he's very thoughtful, very, he, he was thought a gentle, into everything. Yeah, but a very you know, gentle soul. He couldn't handle it. Now, how old was he? 21. So he was a baby. You would have done anything to help him feel confident and fine, but he couldn't let you know that. And it's not uncommon, by the way, for the boy to try to separate a little bit from mom to show he's tough, but he wasn't <laughs> tough. Right? Didn't you try? It didn't work. And guess what? Because you're a nine, do you know what your mission? Your mission would be to do it better than your parents. Your mission was, I'm going to be the best parent possible. So it was even more heartbreaking for you. Now the trouble, the one who's a troublemaker. <laughs> She's in another room. She actually is very strong-minded. Oh, she it's is. It's her way of the highway, so it's not personal. <laughs> she wasn't supposed to have a mother. She's welcome to come in here. Hey, Rebecca. What I was saying about you being a three life path, it is the eyes, the smile, the voice, which you have, but you can be your own worst enemy. And you know that it's like you battle you. And so when you jump in, Santa, to try to be a mom, that's what I mean about, she didn't need a mama. She was just like, this oh is my, my idea. <laughs> this She's is my lesson. <laughs> One twenty second means finding a way to master your life. Well, that's a big, tall order. And it feels like it has to come from you. So what are you doing? What have you picked? Um, well, career-wise, I've actually wanted to go into nursing, but lately I've been rethinking on what I want yeah, to do. Yeah, you're not going to go into nursing, <laughs> but, because you know what? It'll drain you. Threes and fives love performance. You have it in you to walk into that field and enjoy it. If you go to the right place with your numerology, you can wind up in a job that you really wanted, yeah. but you just didn't know if you could have it. So yeah, that is my suggestion true. for you. Glennis had told me that I needed to look into a career change. The past two months, I've been really rethinking my career. And I haven't even told my mom. She made me really decide that nursing is not my thing, and she was on point with that one. Sandy, you felt a connection with all three people. I did. People. Glennis, she pegged my son. I did get a deeper understanding of who he was. I mean, I knew I'm his mom, but just... His sensitivity. His sensitivity, and, and she, she nailed him. And you and labeled yourself a hopeful skeptic going in. <laughs> I did. Yeah. <laughs> Please welcome author of Love by the Numbers, Glennis McCants, to the show. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now tell me how this works. Numerology is a science of numbers. When you look at someone's name and their birth date, you get six numbers that make up the numerology blueprint of who they are. And just for the record, you're soulmates with your wife. So Robin and you are an example of a soulmate connection, for real. Okay. So our numbers. 
me that. We've been together for 40 <laughs> years, but our numbers say that, right? The numbers do, and here's how that works. I guess That's 40 would be the biggest of those numbers, yeah, right? Yeah, but let me tell you about you. You're a seven life path, and you know what sevens are? It means you can assess the situation, and you feel who people are. You do it all the time. And in my opinion, your greatest blessing, you've got the number two, which is intuition. You do go with that gut instinct, and it doesn't fail you. Going back to Robin, she is actually your rock. Your rock. Because a four is that solid base that says, honey, fly as high as you can fly. But make sure you take care of me, too. Don't forget me, because the four is about family. So her mission is about make sure the whole family is together. And you love that about so her. So if I come home and express an opinion, and she says, don't you, Dr. Phil, me. <laughs> is, you need is, to listen to me. Is that her me. being oh. my rock? When you take the birthday numbers, you take your full date of birth and reduce it to one digit. You're a nine life path, which is the old soul number. So you're beyond your years. You're also born on a nine day. Mm -hmm. You have a nine attitude. That means what you see is what you get. But you know what your bad habit is? You attract people that have problems. Like you attract <laughs> the guy that you rescue and save. Mm -hmm. You can't do that anymore. You know, you've got to find yeah. the equal. And in numerology, you can find the equal. And, and I was looking at those men, and I saw someone really terrific for you. Say, that, that's you? Oh. <laughs> Todd has a heart of gold on paper, yeah. man. Is Look that at true? his smile. Without saying sure. Todd, I want to say this. In Justin Numerology, I said, the three is known for their smile, their eyes, their voice. Look at his eyes. Look at that smile. It's a natural match to you, and you love humor. You like I funny do. people. Yeah. Well, aren't you funny? I'm entertaining. See? <laughs> at least I and you brought so. down the house. Yeah. So that's what numerology is. It's like, who's a natural match? That keeps it easier. Yeah. So have you all met? I haven't met her, no. No. Okay. If, if I arranged a, a dinner, for y'all, would you go out and have dinner? We sure. put you, would you Absolutely. like to take yeah. that? Have you do well with him? Yeah. All right. We'll do that. I got your number written on the back of my head. I got your number written on the back of my head. I got your number.